Alive and well, I see. <laughs> hey, if you're headed to the park across the bridge, you're gonna want to stock up on birdseed. Those flying diseases are out of control. You could probably find something in that vending machine. If you have any luck, come back and let me know, would you? You go. That bird seed will come in handy, I'm telling you. You can thank me later. <laughs> Night's coming quick. It'll be impossible to find your way through the park at this hour. Gonna need a lantern to light your way. I'll give you mine if you can fish out my other boot I lost there in that lake. Fair trade, I'd say. <laughs> Deal's a deal. Lantern's all yours. See you around, Doc.
one little problem. Actually, it's kind of a big problem. My daddy, he thinks you're here to hurt me, like the others. I tried to tell him, but he said I can't trust anybody. Here, take this. Maybe he'll listen to you, because you're a grown-up. Well, well, well. We'll meet again. I see you're a little unprepared this time. No bloodshed in front of my daughter. Consider yourself lucky. Just leave my family alone. This ain't our fault. We didn't ask for this. We ain't leaving. So step away and go on out of here. A new breed of virus that has the medical community scrambling for answers has now claimed the lives of over 150 people. The entire city has been evacuated and is now under strict quarantine. The first known case of the virus was found after six-year-old twin sisters Tiffany and Teresa Morrissey were admitted to the hospital just weeks ago. Now, the virus quickly spread among the hospital's medical staff, forcing the area to be quarantined and on high alert. With one of the twins dead within days of contracting the virus, the surviving sister, Teresa, has made a full recovery. The only reported case of anyone showing any signs of immunity to the virus. Now, as one microbiologist believes that Teresa Morrissey is the key to finding a cure, that perhaps somewhere in her DNA lies the answer to this epidemic that has forced residents to abandon their homes and leave the city. And it's now being reported, I can tell you, that the surviving twin, Teresa Morrissey, is missing. She was last seen by her father at Oxford Station on Thursday, but was apparently lost during the chaos of the evacuation. We will bring you continued coverage of the story as it develops. For now, this case may Begs the question, where is Teresa Morrissey? I, I'm sorry. They've all been quite upset, them city folk. Upset with Teresa and her family, saying we started this. I'm a simple man. I don't know how all that stuff works. But I know my family didn't ask for this. 
You're not the first one to come on back here to Oxford and try and take my little girl from me. They said getting rid of Teresa was the only way to stop all this from spreading. Final survey of the area complete. Confirming all survivors are cleared. Ready to commence the dismantling of Oxford. Travel to our island. Dismantling of Oxford? Hope that's not what I think it is. We should hurry on out of here. It's too dark to travel through the city, but there's a path behind our house that leads to Oxford Station. Here, this should help us along the way. Go, quick. We'll be close behind. We'll have to repair that canoe to get across the river to our house. We have to hurry! 